Hi all. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of moves outstanding on my site. I've been doing too many chess videos and other stuff recently. So I thought, okay, why not make it more fun and do a video of this? So catching up here. Um, as you can see, I can, I'm using the same board, by the way, as in the Master Game uh, annotation uh, videos. So let's see what's going on here. I've got 96 boards <laughs> awaiting my move. If you want a game, just, just log into the site and I'll, I'll invite you. But don't expect immediate replies. In fact, uh, don't expect a reply <laughs> too frequently at all. But I'll be trying to do these uh, more regular videos of me actually playing moves on, on the site. And so I will be playing sometimes, at least with these. Uh, what, are, what is going on here? Have I got anything? Tactically? Tactically... It looks like a half-decent position. Maybe Queen B3 attacking F7. I'm not going to put in intense analysis. I'll, I'll play Queen B3. I think I'll play h4 here. So I'm treating this like a large over the board symbol basically. Clear some dirt from my screen actually. What's going on here? Uh, knight c3. Actually, knight d2 is apparently more accurate because then you avoid the g6. Bit of trivia there. Good and guys system. E takes d. It looks like okay. Although you shouldn't automatically do captures, you should think about it. I'm doing this now, attacking b6. That looks fine. C3. Rook g2. Bishop b3. about four Smith Mora <clears throat> G three here. The good news is I don't seem to be completely lost on every position. <laughs> Just yeah. And people are being a bit tolerant for me, which I really need actually, because I have not I'm not the most reliable opponent. Bishop B6 is going to win my queen there. Let's just undo that. <laughs> Naughty. Tricky. What do I do about Bishop B6? Interesting. I'll play F tanks. Attacking my opponent's queen. If I castle. Only 82 bo more boards to go. <laughs> Knight h5. I'm just, I'm just thinking this could be a good attacking move uh, with any luck. I'll play a Tarash here, avoiding the dreaded Winnower, which I've had some nightmare games with recently. B3, I lose the Knight on C3, and also he's hitting the Rook. Might not be the best move ever in the history of chess to play B3. <laughs> I don't know what about doubling rooks doubling rooks doesn't seem to lose immediately to anything so I'll double the rooks yes you can pick up these amazing bits of wisdom by following this this big gigantic symbol that I'm playing on my own site the scotch game bit of a difference from the Royal Pez I'm going to protect this knight in advance for any discovered attack Knight e5 hits the bishop. Some of the exchange down and stuff. That's not very nice. Oh dear. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I've got four pieces against three. <laughs> okay. Not too shabby, maybe. Ah. I'll play knight d4, I think. Uh, let's get the queens off and a we'll knight up here. Looks like good news. Get the queens off. I might actually be winning some of these games. Miracles happen, I guess. 
and thank you guys for being so patient. Did I emphasize that enough? If I haven't moved in the... Oh, why didn't I just play F7 there? <laughs> F7 looked crushing, actually. That was naughty. I played a bit too quickly there. Now, this is not how you play correspondence chess. <laughs> this is how you play a big, gigantic correspondence simul, where you don't want to spend more than, like, five seconds a move. Uh, so you, too, can play this badly as well, if you really put your mind into it. <laughs> I suppose knight d4. Why does it intuitively knight d4? Am I going into some sort of pin with queen b6? What about f5? We give up the e5 square. I might get something from that though. <clears throat> In return, although I might not. Okay, scotch game. 71. 70 boards to go. <laughs> that looks good for knight d5. Let's play an open Sicilian for a change. So yeah, if you want to join this gigantic, gigantic long-term simul where you've got to be tolerant that I might not move for weeks, then just log into Chess World and I'll invite you for a game. I can invite you guys quite easily actually. I've got good facilities for inviting. So C4, Bishop F4. Queen f6, except the knight's like on f6, so that might not be the best move in the world. G4 doesn't seem to lose immediately, so what about g4? Mind you, there's yes, he's covering g4. Isn't there a hack attack here of any sort? This looks like a position I should be able to find a knockout blow of some sort. C4 for bishop, c3 looks dangerous. There's f6. There's always f6, isn't there? There's knight g no no it's not knight g4 there's knight f5 I think I might be tempted for c4 here and okay f6 happens it happens mind you no this has got me stuck and kind of compelled to think actually because it looks like a a nice attacking position I feel a, a duty more of a duty to like check out the uh, possibilities here maybe knight f5 Ah, oh, go with knight f5. Bishop g5. Mm, let's play Scotch game just to be, because Kasparov's been popularizing it recently again. I mean, he's come out of retirement playing those those exhibition blitz games successfully with the Scotch. So if it's good enough for Kasparov against modern super GMs, it's good good enough for me. I play knights somewhere back. Okay, it can go back, but it can go forward again. The knights quite versatile. Uh huh. I'm not getting mated with knight chief or anything, am I? doesn't matter on my site if you're a guest or former I'll still invite you for a game by the way <laughs> if you want to become a full member yeah that helps yeah <laughs> that helps my pocket money thanks very much <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> yeah I started this site if you want a history of how I started this site I was actually working for a finance company in, in the city and then there was this merger and I, I didn't really want to particularly go into another finance job IT and finance job so I started this correspondence service around the time there weren't too many correspondence uh, chess servers and my brother mentioned about oh you know why don't you just store positions in databases and took off from there basically I managed to get things working took a few weeks to you know work out things like checkmate detection properly because there was endless reports oh this is not checkmate this is in the early days it's more than 15 years ago so it was all good fun <laughs> all new good fun and um, it's still good fun I, I love the site I love the site um, and that's the reason also the YouTube channel, you know, because the sites help promote the site. But uh, the idea of the chat box is one from one of my ad admins, Ockenden, once said about the chat box. 
So we've got good chat box options. You can have extra extra large size. You can see here. You can have, have smaller sizes. It's all from the My Stuff My Interface. Totally customizable. And um, hmm? oh, sorry. I was thinking about doing that. Okay, let's let's do that. Yes, let's let's do that. Pin that queen. It seemed promising. Superficially. But you never know, you've got to get into the details of the nitty gritty positions to really find out if your intuition is absolutely correct. I hear if I if I just take in the bishop g5 after, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take, pardon me, e1, e8, confirm, and let's do g3. <clears throat> okay. I think knight g3 for knight takes h5. Only 49 boards to go. Wow. What about f6 for knight e7? This is exciting. f6 could be dangerous. You never know. Okay, bishop g5 could be good here. Knight c3. By the way, I never got to see that film about Fisher yet. You know that film which had the guy that did Spider-Man? I haven't seen it yet. I've, I I need to go and see it at some point. If it's available, um, it hasn't been on the cinemas here, but if it's actually available, if you could let me know if you're in the UK. If you, any UK people have seen that, that film about Fisher, I'd love to see it. We had that really high-class uh, actor. That was Spider-Man. Uh, hero. So anyway, um... Let's play rook, maybe rook e1. I feel that he's going to play for knight g4 or fishing pole or something. Uh, I'll play, try and open this a file if he wants to take that pawn. Only 40 boards to go. I'm just playing by this is just like intuition but I will play a Smith Morrow Gambit true to form it is one of my favorites though but I don't want to play it in every single game let's put some variety into the Sicilian defense games variety is the spice of life yeah I'm not sure about I like experimenting with the scotch game at the moment I've had some good results in blitz as well recently some good scheduled blitz videos coming up in the scotch game spoiler alert even against top players <laughs> Higher title players than me, so 33 boards to go. Uh, thank you all for your patience. If I try and do this regularly, like once a week, I think uh, I should be doing it regularly <laughs> once a week, really. So I'll try and uh, get to grips with my game, gigantic game load. Yeah, gigantic. Um. Bishop b3 for uh, knight f7 coming up. Looks intuitively good. I'm, I am playing it like bullet chess, I must admit. I make no bones about that, I make no secret about that. Is knight d6 any good here? I always wonder how sometimes um, the world champions would do playing at this kind of speed. I'm sure they're going to make mistakes as well. Anyone, any human. We're not computers, we're going to make mistakes. Intuition is going to let us down, surely. Play at this speed, there's nothing really you can. Into intuition moves at this speed. It's really the opposite of correspondence chess. Correspondence chess is really about, you know, the science of moves. Uh, so, 
Let's play something super interesting here. Or not. <laughs> uh, knight c3. Knight c3. 25 boards. Let's play a Vienna game, knight c3. Hello, Delajos. Hello, Laminator. So these are new guys, new games. Um, probably in, in, when I invited you guys last time, I did a video. I'm sorry, finally I'm moving. I'm so sorry, but you've got to expect this from me. But I hope you can play each other. I am inviting you guys to play each other in, in YouTubers tournaments. So at minimum, I hope you guys can like play each other as well. But I will be trying to play our games and stuff. And there's, there's other activities on the site. There's the play rated puzzles page. I've used quite a lot for training. Recently, I should really do some training soon. Extra training on puzzles. 17 boards. Wait the move. Hello, Catalini. Hello, Laser Town. Ah, oh, this is a, a Curricon. Actually, let's play H4 like is the more popular approach. Fisher sometimes doesn't play H5 immediately. We're getting another Curricon against Laser Town again. We're practicing the Curricon, Laser Town. Mind Warp. Oh, I think I might have a small advantage here if I don't blunder my queen. Ooh, we're approaching 10 boards awaiting move. Okay. Hello, James67. Shout outs, if nothing else, <laughs> from playing me. Sorry, I should do shout outs. Caster99. Maybe I should I should read out the nickname. Generally speaking, if I remember to read out the nickname. Okay, so uh Stumpy, 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 Stumpy. So King's Gambit. Go on, crush me then. Find some horrible line against my King's Gambit. I'm just playing it for fun. All King Kong. Okay. I played Godzilla last night. It wasn't much fun. But anyway, we're going to play All King Kong. Play Godzilla and Blitz last night. Crushed me. <laughs> Babron. Hello. Legs are solid. Okay. Depends. You need maybe triangle shapes for solid. <laughs> Knight f4 is being played here. I've only got three boards away in my move and I'm stuck now. Knight f4. Do I set the exchange? Do I leave that pesky knight there? Do I play queen f5? I'm going to sack the exchange because that's the crazy person I am. Deva. 1066 Battle of Hastings. Kinetics. Oh, this is a fun one. Kinetics. Hinagri. Hinagri. Energy. Kinetics. Energy, I think, is the intention. <laughs> okay. I've got to the end of my game list. Let's We can click list current games. And yeah, okay. Uh, there's all sorts of sort orders here. You can see the, the board consistency updates recently. We've got the same style board on all the pages. Yeah, if you want to join me for a game, just, just simply log into the site again and I'll I'll just invite loads of you that have logged in recently that are not on, on, on this big simul. So that would be a bit of fun. And I might try and do this video regularly. I hope it's a little bit of fun and extra weird content on the channel. No, extra content. No, it's it's uh, my own uh, correspondence chess server, this one. So a uh, special site for me. <laughs> okay. And I hope you enjoyed at least playing each other in the YouTube YouTuber tournaments, if not crushing me when I do get to play against you. Okay, comments, questions, likes, appreciated. Thanks very much.